10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift off. Lift off of Noah's Ghost Team, our newest weather sentinel in the sky to help keep us safe here on the ground. Terrell, let's listen in as we listen to United Launch Alliance Rob Kirsten, look good. who is the flight mission commentator. View has gone to close loop control. The RD-180 is now throttling down as expected. Engine response looks good. We're now 33 seconds into flight. Atlas is 3 miles in altitude, 0.9 miles downrange distance. We have passed through Mach 1. The vehicle is now passing through Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. We throttle back those arms. Now 55 seconds into the flight. Atlas is 7 miles in altitude, 4 miles downrange distance, traveling at 1900 miles per hour. RD-180 is now throttling back up. Backed off the throttle to reduce the force of the rocket. To flight. Atlas is 13 miles in altitude, 10 miles downrange distance, traveling at 2,700 miles per hour. Now at 90 seconds into flight, ULA's Atlas V rocket weighs now just one half of what it did at launch, burning propellant at a rate of more than 2,600 pounds per second. SRBs have burned out as expected, and we see a good SRB jettison. Vehicle is now executing closed loop steering. Vehicle, vehicle performance looks good at this time. Now 135 seconds into flight. The RD-180 has throttled down slightly. Vehicle performance continues to look good at this time. Tank pressures are stable and Atlas booster battery voltages remain in their expected ranges. Now the upper stage is preparing for its use. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. We have just over one minute until BECO. We're now seeing uh, the RD-180 throttle limiting to maintain a 2.5G acceleration limit. Standing by for payload fairing jettison. And we've seen a successful payload fairing jettison. RD-180 is throttled back up now. And the vehicle has reached a 4.6G 4, 4 acceleration limit and will maintain this level through BECO. We've seen that the Centaur has begun its boost phase chill down sequence. And BECO, booster engine cutoff. Standing by for stage separation. And a successful stage separation event. And we've seen pre-start on the RL-10. And MESS-1, we have ignition for the first burn. This 
first burn of ULA's Centaur upper stage will place the GOES-T spacecraft into a parking orbit around the Earth. This burn will last just over seven minutes. <laughs> 